but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how Pongard do it. I don't see Pongard losing their attack. If I'm honest, no. I do think it's gonna be final uh, matchup, and we're gonna have a, a field battle for final to to determine who goes yes. on to win it. And, but it is all for pretty much we are cleansed to lose at this point. They're two one up. They've got the opportunity to take this as a match point. So maybe they're gonna send everything at it. They obviously had a really, mm -hmm. really interesting way of defending last time round. Constant flanking, slowing down them as much as possible. But like we said earlier, the map is a very long time. Like it seems like the longest matches there is on this B point. It seems like you're there for ages before you cap it, and then even yeah. after you cap it, there's still even th yeah. another six, like, seven minutes. On, the end of it. on that last match, there was a certain point, and I was like, "This match is surely going to be over soon." And I look up at the time, and there was like ten minutes still. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then even you get that B point at the side, don't you? So yeah. When you get a, yeah, you get the free side capture a bit and then that's it obviously you've got an extra like 10 minutes added on pretty much if it was like but yeah definitely going to be an interesting one this time around to see how how uh the defense holds herself out they they've got to defend for the win so yeah definitely and a different story this time around. one thing else i wanted to want to touch on is you could see bondcard was trying a different strategy being more way more aggressive on the on the fight for b right they were pushing in very hard and dodging the trap in that uh, in that way um, but I think it takes a lot of, uh, like a lot of good execution, and it may be getting harder now that the series continues to go on, go on as well. Um, like players might make some more mistakes. I don't know. I didn't. I haven't seen many mistakes made from both teams so far. To be no, fair, no, not really. It's just, um... it's just the attacking team has an advantage. I, I feel. Yeah. I like. I, I like. I, I mean, you could say that maybe. In the very first match, Pongard made the mistake because they sat too deep and got trebbed. But then you could almost argue the exact same thing when we are clowns defended. They defended in positions where they could get trebbed. They had a few good ideas, but it's just, it's just you can treb almost everywhere on that map. There's a couple of areas right behind the supply between A and B that's treb safe, yeah. and there's a couple of areas not on the the the, the base point, but like between base and the, the eastern resupply, like mm -hmm. behind the houses, they're kind of treb safe. Yep. But the rest of the map is just so wide open that you can treb everywhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, we'll see what's going to happen in the fourth game. We are clowns are ahead, 2-1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still, you made it back just in time. The countdown has started. Um, all good to Excellent. go. I'm going to make a transition. Make sure we have this game ready to go. And it's back right, to you guys. time again. in a row. I feel a, I feel a Sally out. This is the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the Sally out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, yeah. they yeah. do have a lot of There's players the on the side. There is yeah. the Cav. There, there is Cav. Yeah. Definitely is Cav this time around on the defense. I think it's fair to say this map is attack oriented with these uh, with the current rules in place. It's an attack oriented map. I, I fully, I fully. 100%. Yeah. 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 I agree. Because the PG played crazy there. They really played their hearts out. And, uh, they really just, um, they got trapped the fucking shit. They got, between the spawn kills and the trebbing, there's nothing PG could do. Uh, I, there's no way to react to that, man. There's no way to react to that. Hmm. Don't look I think at that's the, the, when it came to the design of the map, but I think because of where B is positioned, it's a good position, but also if it was closer to the, uh, cl closer to the kind of fort area, it would actually be so much easier for the defense, but because it's yeah. out into the open a little bit more and you actually have to, you can't just sit behind it and be treb free on the point with units. So then you can't sneak it, like keep that cap for as long as possible. You've got to kind of move on to the cap to stop it being capped, but then open to trebs at that point. So it's uh, it's definitely the way they designed the cap. Yeah. So game four, here we go, man. Here we go. Unit counts are definitely looking at very, very interesting. Your cap, your cops, excuse me. I'm looking at a lot of four brackets and pikes, reapers, but on the field, of course, for PG to start. No surprise. They see that they don't want to experience any calf salads. Nobody does. Worst way to go out is at least die with some dignity. You don't want to die with salad. That's the worst way to go. You're on the final map. You're done with salad. You're getting roasted for about a month or two. So you definitely <laughs> don't want to let that happen. Um, but looking based off this, I mean, we're definitely going to see that maybe that little probing by we are clowns again. There they are by the yeah. church. They definitely like. I think it's going to be another one of these baits. Take it down straight away with the trap straight off the rip as well. Straight onto the the gap in the tree. Yeah, they did the same exact, pulled one out of the book. That uh, It's an interesting trip. Uh, did not uh, do exactly what they wanted the bridge. to do. Yeah, did not hit the bridge anyway. No, miscalculated. Uh, definitely need to work on the trebs a little bit. Uh, but looking at this, there is the Sally by Weir Clowns. They are looking to make a play here. Pi and SKW kind of probing the front line, looking for a play here. Interesting if that lands. It does land! It's a really nice little trip. It does get a couple of cab in there. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take. We take those. 
Honestly, it's six I units they picked up on that one trip, so. Seven that's all Chevaliers. Trip. You know, you love to see it. You do love to see it. You hate to see it for weird clans. No one likes getting trapped. Um, but getting that cap out of the way early on will help them on home point and their flanks. Um, but uh, it's Very interesting to see weird clans really trying to hold this eight point push here. Uh, yeah. I find it really interesting that they take out cataphracts, so they do, they, they take that higher leadership cavalry. But I actually think like cataphracts are useful. But at this point in time, like surely you'd take jab cap. Something lower leadership, little bit of thing is you can actually get some damage with. You can come out and do a few things with. Whereas if they lose their cataphracts, the percentage of their uh, their defensive uh, leadership there. But I don't think they really uh, brought outriders though, did they? So they like if they want to show face, if you like, in the push up. Because I think the idea is so they can get rid of the bridges on both sides. To just try and slow them down again, and I think the only cap they've got is cataphracts. They might have like an armiger or two, but they don't have outriders. Yeah, so I'm saying yeah. I'm surprised that they're using the whole outriders, right, yeah. uh, like that instead of using like outriders and stuff, and uh, I think it's picking because, that at the very start. But I think it's because they don't actually, they didn't actually plan to attack. Like they didn't actually plan to take a fight there. It's just mm -hmm. to make them. Think oh, they, that they're if you notice, Pongard have pushed very, very quickly to try and take them out and so, take as much of their cav out on the way there. And so right. they can stop them so has been picked up here as well. Yeah, so Weiro's been picked up. They can go straight to the bridge, try and stop that bridge being destroyed. But obviously, a lot of the players do get away. Watson picks up the Weiro kill. And uh, yeah, there's there's a couple of heroes they've, they've killed at the start. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a nice push there for sure. Um, I will have to see if PG actually pushes this bridge this time or lets it go down for free again. It does not look like they're going to snowball at all. They're going to go for a free cap there real quick and take it slow. Um, I guess they're fine with just holding down that uh, that bridge building point and just using all their heroes to take it. They're actually focusing central right now by the looks of it. Uh, C4 and two nice taking the front line right there. They shoot a lot of this pre-made arty. Really, uh, we are clowns is really utilizing this pre-made arty. You saw them in the church. You saw them over here. Every chance they get an opportunity to use their arty, they do so. And they were really good with destroying this bridge. I think if PG had did this in their previous fight, I think that would have been even better for them. Uh, even they had they pressured the wall, the the wave, they pressured the uh, the uh, the uh, the arcway really nicely, but they really should have taken down this bridge too. Would ball maybe another minute. It was a three minutes at yeah. the front home point, so that could have made a difference. I mean, it really could have. Uh, I think if you look at this like advantage after cap and A. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But if you see like the fact that they cap A and they cap that little fort bit A at the side here, it gives them pretty much fifteen minutes to attack B. Like fifteen minutes. Just to attack one point is a hell of a long time, so it's definitely beneficial for the the attacking side. Um, but yeah, like you said, if you were if Pongard on their defense to take the bridge out, it would give them a little bit extra breathing time, you know, like to set themselves up and not have to worry about the push for as long. But it, I don't think it would have made much of a major difference because obviously last time this happened, uh, we still managed to get the attacking side winning once it got took down three times. Um, so it does slow you down, but it doesn't really stop the overall the overall push and the overall ending of the, the match absolutely they get this bridge built pretty decisively though this time getting it uh good i mean oh, never mind disregard that disregard, that. <laughs> disregard. Um, yeah i they, think they yeah, expected it this time though so they know what they have to do they they they're slowly, slowly try to get rid of the coverings on the other side of the river i don't think they want to waste a treb on it uh, or another treb on it um and then they'll be able to build it like we've said a few times there's enough time they don't really have to rush to build the bridge they, they don't just need to get it done eventually. um I, I would recommend i honestly if i were them i'm a big i'm a big woman like personally for me as a shot caller i'm a momentum pusher i like momentum i like going i like going hard and going deep in more than one way but anyway i actually thought on that side that they'd go across the bridge straight away when they were chasing the cover i thought yeah. they'd have put pressure on straight away go and straight then, so to the supply the bridge. Yeah. It's very yeah. interesting. Your weird clowns, is, it's just a different strat. They really are buying time. Again, like this bridge is dumb. They've bought three minutes so far. Three minutes. Um, yeah. we'll have to, I mean, for PG to really stay in this lineup, right? They have to win this fight, correct? They have to win this one. Yes, I'm PG, you have to win this one yeah, or else yeah. that's it. Yeah, so definitely. So, uh, you know, PG really needs to play the game here and press W. Um, if I was matching have the right advantage now, be, um, hero kills wise, though, but I mean, got three hero yeah. kills already. So they, maybe if they're trying to slowly pick people up, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there they are. They're going for the mass build again. Ascentry, SKW, Mr. Billy D. They're all going for it. I really don't understand why they don't put ISGs over there to cover them. I really don't get why they why they don't do that. Some units in there to block them. It's, it's just really Amya up there. It's, up, it's Amya and Silver up there. Just but they're not going to be able to build those. this. Look at these. This is the Namcon strat. This is why they have the Namcons. This is this explains a lot, actually. Really good strat by Weird Clowns here. Look at this Namcon. They can't build this. How are they going to build that without putting units there? They have to do that, otherwise they can't get it up. And, I think um, the blade stops you from doing stuff, doesn't it? It stops you from kicking yeah. down ladders and everything as well. Alright, good shot with the button. One, one, one arrow and you can't you stop building. No, there's nothing you can where, do. Where is the Namcans fight, like, from anywhere on the map? I actually can't... 
I can't think it's the supply point. Oh, there they are, yeah. They're, they're behind the house at the supply yeah. point, yeah, yeah, and just managing to deal with damage. Obviously, you've got the short bows and the long bows that are also able to. Muskets as well up on the, 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 the grapple bridge. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what PG does here. They're kind of just stalling. They've really lost a lot of time. They've lost four minutes already. Four minutes already, yeah. That's four minutes wasted. Um, just oh, here they go. Here. This is the death ball for the, for the bridge. Are they just going to go up the grapple bridge, are they? Nope. Oh, oh no, they're going for the try. thing again. Oh, let's get Bob. <laughs> Yo, clouds are really trolling with this. There's no way PG loses to a bridge building, right? There's no way, right? There's I no think... way. There it is. There's the bridge build. And oh. nope. Oh, no. and it's not. <laughs> bridge build. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and there's the snowball by Tab right side going in deep here. Really hard. Nice trap going off as well. So what they really need is to get those Nomcons. Those Nomcons are fucking disease. Those Nomcons have done their job. They're now useless in the fight. They're going to probably be killed off. Um, it does look like weird clowns are going to take the front line approach here. I know Trebs by PG here. Very shocking. I'm going to trip the shit out of this fight. He though. did pre trap it. But there. obviously that was a cooldown for it, so that's yeah. the second trip now. The first trip just missed. Trip right here, though. This could be a really nice trip coming in on the left side of this side, bridge side. It's a little over their heads. I think they jumped the gun with that one. They should have tripped it a little bit down. They are really locked up on this bridge right now. They really need to win their exchanges here. Kicker job move takes out Gilcha, one of the better players on PG. They just um, dropped three heroes as well, Yeah, Pongar wow. are losing their heroes wow. very, very quickly here. Oh, that time, that's oh, down. Oh, no. Yeah, those trips need to go off harder. I mean, PG's definitely losing their trade here. Um, pretty decisive. I mean, there's already some pipes break through the ranks there. Trip goes off right in the cataphracts. You do see them retreating. The benefit here, though, for Weird Clowns is they got the supply point. They could just keep cycling and cycling and cycling and kill these guys off. Weird Clowns already has only has 185 dead, and PG has 288 dead, and half their team is dead. This is a really bad scenario for PG here. Um, both teams on defense have come back out of nothing or are starting to make something happen. I mean, we witnessed two decisive losses on defense, and now we're witnessing two decisive holds. So far, it's, it shows yeah. how good both teams are, though, man. They they got shown something. They got shown where the weaknesses were in their strategies. They basically stuck to the same strategies that they've done, but they've just tweaked them a little bit to just improve them that slight little bit, man. That's... See, they're trying to go through the the main four here at the front here. So the heroes are trying to build that kicker. Sadrazam is trying to actually stop them with the musket bomb constantly firing at them. So they're not even building the bridge. I, to, I don't yeah, think he means stop them though. He's on his own. Yeah, he's not going to stop them now. They have. Got... Got muskets be there that are constantly firing at them, so that is helping them a little bit, but it delayed enough to to stop them going straight away. With the um, heroes say, as well, uh, heroes one help one death away from uh, not being bringing back again as well, so he can't risk himself too much, um, or else he's going to be, be a very battle. tough. It's going to be a very tough scenario here for PG. I I'm not liking this at all. Pongard have only um, got five trebs as well. I'm not liking that's this. That's a lot of trebs used before you even get to be. Yeah, this is not a good scenario for them. Really bad scenario. Um, we'll have to see here. This could be the last fight of the night. Uh, this could be it. Um, PG really needs to step up their game here. They're not playing. Uh, I'm definitely, I think their, um, stamina is waning a little bit. I definitely don't think they're playing as, uh, coordinated as they were the last match. Um, we'll have to see if they can, uh, come back from this man and, uh, make something happen. I mean, they got some guys probing, but some guys are kind of starting to do their own thing, make some wild card plays, but it's like, it's a tournament. You can't really do your solo thing. And a couple guys are starting to do that as we see here. Um, we're really gonna have to uh, utilize uh, their death ball tactic. I mean, that's where that's where PG is strongest in the death ball. Um, What's the hero disparity at the minute? I mean, right now you got uh, at this moment in time you got nine heroes. Uh, excuse me, four, seven heroes on tab right side. The rest are central. And for PG, you got mm, you got uh, six heroes tab right. So one less on tab right, and then the rest are central. Uh, so they have a little bit more players on central side right now. A couple of guys in the bottom, though. And most of the players are on second floor for Weird Clowns. They are going to make a, a slight play up this staircase. It looks like they're quietly taking this. Oh, my God. Are Weird Clowns not looking? Weird Clowns aren't looking. They do take this decisively. Let's touch me. It comes in hot there. Slams the pikes. The second push comes through. Wow. That's a big mistake by Weird Clowns here. Um, the staircase push actually works. Big brain. I don't know how that fucking just worked, but it did. Oh shit, and PG does decisively push Central Castle. We're definitely taking Castle here. Tab right side is also pressuring the the uh, the bridge side as well. Trying to flank in on Weird Clowns here. Trying to win their fight. So they're fighting a two front war on both fronts. It looks like Weird Clowns are not winning the two front war. Uh, Central does decisively win. They do, the Weird Clowns does win the bridge side, but they're losing the Central push, which is uh, PG's main push. Uh, Akuma and Sledge may taking the front line here. PG down by zeros though. Yeah, the they are down. They trip. did just lose that, that, that entire five men that just died was the tab right side. Um, their central side is still completely fully alive right now. Good to go. 
Um, only two dead right now for We Are Clowns. It's still it's still anybody's game. A lot dead right now for PG at this point in time. 467 to We Are Clowns, 386. Um, it's going to be up to PG here to really kind of even back out the count. They really needed to take B here. They do take Castle. They do get Supply. They're in a better position than they were, but they still aren't up money. They still aren't money. You're absolutely right. They still have too many dead. Um, they got to play smarter. Only three lives. They really need to play smart here. Yeah, um, Maximus Gaucho, SKW are all on their last life, so it's four. So these guys have got to watch themselves, yeah. along with a few players on uh, on the tight side of it. Yeah. We are Total clans as well. For, uh, we are clans. have bottled them up in the the keep at B now as well. Yeah. Total deaths at the moment for PG are 16, and only total deaths for Weird Clowns are 10. That is really, um, I have to say, Weird Clowns are kind of dominating right now in terms of this fight. Um, very surprising. I didn't know much about this team until today, um, but they are, are quite, uh, quite the machine. Quite the machine. Uh, it's very surprising. They, they I've never seen B. PG really lose like this. It looks like they're um, giving B. Yes, they're definitely, they definitely are giving up giving B. B. They are which giving is B. very interesting. They're giving them an extra, what, four or oh, five minutes wow. on the home point, 10 points? I'm gonna go back into like about that. eight minutes here, yeah. Given that I mean, they've point, they've got the unit it? advantage. There's only three more trebs, but I thought they were in a good position to actually still fight on B. Yeah, I thought so as well. Cool that point down as well, but. Oh my god, bro! They gave. I don't know if giving B was the play. I don't know. Uh, PG will take supply point decisively here. They're gonna. They're gonna have lots of units for home. It's gonna be a big fight on home, but home is trebable. Um, I suppose so the I fight really... in position though, where now it's like round the building where. Um... Where we are, clans are mainly set up now. That's ca that's Treb safe. So if they try and force any engagements to be there, I suppose that's what their, their plans are going to be. Yeah, that's what PG, PG did. Yeah, the, the only issue with that thing. is you, you don't want to go pushing on there. If you're PG, you don't go pushing on there knowing that they're there. You're just home, right? Yeah. And then you have to force them into the open and get them Trebs out because they have to come out of one way. But what surprised me a bit is PG used this pathway to the tab left side. Um, this little, there's a bridge by B side, tab left, and it takes you right on an open alleyway, right to home, through this little door over here, and you can find it in this trouble along the whole way. And there's multiple alleyways. They don't use a, no, neither team has utilized it whatsoever. Um, yeah, neither, it's only when they've spawned game and like retreated that. back to B that they've actually gone around that route, but they've not actually attacked with it. Yeah, it's, None it's, of it's interesting. Are. I think that's a decent alleyway to send two or three guys to fuck with you. I mean, oh, there we go. See, someone sees it. They're sick. What's he gonna do? He's um, he was, he's gonna stand still. We're sick as just now as well. If you get on, if you got a unit of, yeah, get like, you said cav, you're in a position to just. Or said I don't something? think you can get cap through at the end, can you? Ooh, can you not imagine get putting, through? imagine putting some guns up here. Yep, guns or this? some tra like some javelins and stuff on this little platform up here. That'd be a perfect. They can't get up but... there. They have to go all the way around to get to you. That'd be a great spot yep. for sentry gunners. Um, I wonder if anybody sees all that. Zikaline. Probably not. Zikaline would be good on there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is anyone at three deaths? I can't see. And I'm not sure. Not. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, not yet. Hmm. Couple, yeah. Lots of heroes on two, though. Yeah. Lots of heroes on I two. I see 18 dead for 18 deaths for PG at the moment. Only 10 stuff for Weird Clans. Weird Clans are really good with this hero killing. They're really winning that trade. Um, unit counts are still pretty much the same. Uh, PG has 100 less on the field. Hmm. I mean, it's gonna be tight. Yeah. It's gonna be tight. They real. I mean, PG is really playing conservative. There's a lot of Viren Reapers on the attacking side here at this point in time with like Javelins. Uh, there is one unit of Javelins, but I don't know where their ASMT is set with them just now. But They really don't have time to wait this long. Five minutes on the clock. They have one real push before they lose half their team to too many deaths. Um, we might see our first dub in a victory. This might be... Does it go to game five if PG uh, loses? Victory. If, if PG, PG wins. loses, no, it's, it's done, isn't it? It only goes to the end yeah. one if... Um, PG win. Yeah. win. PG win, it goes to the fifth. Match if it's it doesn't, five it's a winner to three victories. Oh my god! And they all of NA is watching with their s little bit of sweat right now while PG struggles here. Um, PG has the weight of all of NA on his shoulders right now, confirmed. <clears throat> Use uh, really gotta uh, th these weird clowns guys are really kind of bringing the pain. Um, really hope that uh, you know this this fight gets uh, a little bit more crazy here. It's right now, weird clowns is really kind of just harassing the supply point. Another forty five yeah. seconds are wasted. Um, it's going to be up to PG here to make this play. Right here is going to be decisive. Uh, Kip Pine taking down one of their guys, putting in a 15v14 scenario. We'll have to see if that works in their favor. Dathos are all the way in the back line. Two Knights going for the cheeky points. They do see an opportunity here. They go right for the cheeky points. That means that Weird Clouds are going to have to respond. Pretty that right is going to be right a good come out. Ooh. That's a nice positioning. Hey, a really good play well. by PG. A really nice play here by PG. We'll have to see if it works out. There are, it looks like Weird Clouds are going to flank nice. around the right side, but Gilcho and Astro watching it. They are going for the cheeky points on there. Gilgar Temple Shot is the only one on. 
home point right now. Four rear clouds. PG does come back from this, though. They are decisively on home point. Gunners on the flank as well. They went around with the guns like I thought they would. C4 Pi and two nice Maximus and Gilcher are on point right now. Rear clouds cannot respond. Holy shit, this is it. Can I pick this one up here. The, oh the my blue god. As well. This is why they're first place teams, guys. This is why they're first place teams. This is a tight fight right here. It's going to be up to the trade here. It's going to be up to PG here to win here. They won't have enough ta another chance to have another push like this. Uh, the unit counts are still very much even. Um, two, PG is on force. They have seven heroes on point. Well, Cav coming in hot for PG as well. We are not. We are clowns. Only have heroes on point at this point in time. They are coming with Cav themselves. Uh, Takedown is going to have to be there to respond to it. Six trying to body block it with Jazz. He gets the jab throw off. Eats the charge. Takedown gets there in time with Florida Brock, yo. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I don't know. I think PG can get it. Well, actually, walk away with the dub here. It's coming back from nothing and making something happen. One dual blade on point. They're trying to go around the far tip side. Our PG's calf charging hard. Our P after charge uh, trip goes off as well. Take those F1 for Brock. He's holding the line in a 2v1. He needs to tank. It's literally a hero trade on Weird Clowns right now. Weird Clowns has many dead right now. It is up to PG to hold the line and win here. Maximus is definitely young at the top of his lungs. You gotta be big here. Just SKW. Aspen Tree literally needs to play the game and he's literally running around a horse. Pallion literally and fighting Java, fighting, oh, not fucking, he's fighting Java Moolah on a 1v1, I did not mean to say that, Gilcho is in a 1v1 against Kicker Winkrow, it's a fucking tight fight, this is what I'm talking about, man, holy shit, whoever wins here wins the match, two minutes on the clock, it's up to PG here to save the day for themselves, if they lose this trade, they're out of the tournament, and we are clowns will walk with the bomb. They are, to they are beginning to stabilize. They are beginning to stabilize. There's a few players from Pongard out of the game completely, deal for life, so SKW not coming. Holy shit! Up, clans are nearest to zoo, so very it close. It could be anybody's fight here. here. It's anybody's fight. The four Brachios weird clans do come in. Akuma is stopping a whole set of monastic solo right now. He gets his four Brachios and V's them. His Pike Militia actually a lot dead here for PG. Uh, PG is getting pushed off. It does last look like two is dead. Yeah, last trap. Uh, Akuma, Sledgeman, and Passenger are the last hold here. We are clowns are in with force now. They are outnumbering PG. PG gets pushed off. Trip. You run the mud house that takes out pretty, pretty much oh, the majority oh, of these guys shit. as well. That has a nice trip. Very oh, no. There's a lot of time on the though. clock. A minute and 50 seconds on the clock. PG oh. had one chance. Oh, Look at that cap. Four percent cap. PG is pretty much wiped. Um, wow. Oh what my god. Very good push. Very. That was what really, a save! Very good. What That's a, a fantastic save. recovery. A fantastic recovery from We Are Clans. I have no idea where it came from. I no, can't believe we just saved that. I thought that was over. Uh, it looked it like it was well. over. Was it looked push. like it was over. Wow, that was a good push too. Picked up a lot of the, the hero kills where... near the end there, and that yeah. was it. I think a lot of the pond guard players had used most of their abilities as well, and then there's the the, the new guy, well, the, the the fresher guys that are just respawned in from We Are Clans got there. They just didn't have the killing power to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the, the, the guys that were on point were units, they were getting taking more and more and more damage, so they were being less and less effective. And even oh though we had clans were bringing worse units in, they were fresh. And they could just only have like, it back. What, eight people that can come back alive as well? So I mean, no, eight people alive just now. So that, that's it. Like, that's the full yeah. versus eight here. Yeah. One minute that's left, game. no chance. Yeah. Do you know no. what's awesome about this though? Imagine their fight in the next league now, the, when they wow. fight against each other. That's going to be this so was, fucking uh, good, man. This was NA's only hope, and uh, it's been smothered. It's been smothered. Uh, it's awesome unfortunate. Awesome fights, though, man. It was like, a great fight. The Weir Clowns really came to play. Uh, they showed up. They showed. They came with some force, and uh, definitely got it done. Uh, this will be the first win on defense for uh, Grand Glior. Um, PG definitely uh, fought their hearts out. They had some crazy pushes there, but uh, they do they do come up short. Um, really good plays by both teams, and uh, I can really expect both teams trying their hearts out here, trying to make something happen out of nothing. But uh, I think mm -hmm. what it a is. lot of teams learned a lot from We Are Clowns defending this in a tournament situation, though. Now that was a crazy with, defense by them. With getting rid of the bridges, um, just buying time on the the tab right hand side, that little little bridge over the river. Like how long they held them there? Like five minutes. Just, just literally, not really doing damage, but just doing damage when they were trying to push F on the the, the bloody bridge yeah. so they couldn't build it. Guys, can I can I just jump in and say, was... look at the MVPs for this game. It's the team captains, Pyan yeah. and Temple Shield. Team captains taking it to the final battle. What else do you want? For the best, <laughs> Ian's first MVP from this uh, series as well. And this, uh, he was doing quite well throughout the whole tournament, and obviously um, Pyan picking up quite a lot of them, and then now he's the MVP.
as he takes his captaincy towards the trying to pick up the win, um, but just narrowly missing out on that one. Quite close to the cap as well. It was quite a fantastic battle and a, quite a close wow. contest fight on that end point. Yeah, that was uh, quite the heavyweight fight indeed. Um, both teams really fought their hearts out. It was a pleasure to be here, guys, and a pleasure to be part of this casting with y'all. Um, I want to be a big shout out to CB and all the all the teams that came out and made this tournament happen. It was fucking absolutely awesome to be a part of the casting team for this. And uh, I want to be, I, I just want to say thank you so much for having me, guys. And uh, really nice game, nice plays, and uh, really nice organization. Just GGs, guys. GGs all around. Yeah, GGs My fault, exactly. I couldn't have said it better, though. Just like the amount of work that CB and the few of the other organizers have been st like putting in behind the scenes is absolutely amazing. So. Thanks to them for, for giving us the opportunity to bring these matches to you. Um, I know that all of us have been enjoying casting them, so loving it. I'm looking forward to next season even more now, me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's going to be even more, even more teams, <laughs> even more teams, and then even closer fought for battles from every single league that we're going to be involved in.